and we're back with episode two of Pace's Playbook. Now today I'll start talking about what the Jets could, should, might do at quarterback. Obviously there's a lot of moving parts, but let's get started. So the question on everyone's mind, what are the Jets going to do with Sam Darnold? Now I know for a lot of fans, there's really no question of what should be done. A lot of people don't want him back in New York and I understand why. I don't either. I personally think that Sam needs to move on if he wants a shot at reviving his NFL career, but I think it's time to come to terms with the fact that at this point, it's very possible that Darnold could be on the roster going into week one. At this point in the NFL offseason, it appears that Sam Darnold's trade market might have been a bit overhyped. A lot of the blockbuster quarterback deals have gone down already, like sending Carson Wentz to the Colts and swapping Jared Goff and Matthew Stafford between the Rams and the Lions. And we're a week and a half into free agency, and a lot of the top free agents have already found their new homes. At this point, to me, it appears that Sam Darnold will still be on the roster entering draft week. Now, that's not to say that there couldn't be a draft week trade for Darnold or even a draft day trade for Darnold. Let's say that the Jets take a quarterback with a second overall pick. Maybe they deal Darnold on day two for an early second round pick. Darnold and a fifth, early second round pick, that could work out really well for the Jets. But it's also a totally fair possibility that Darnold could be competing with Zach Wilson or Justin Fields entering week one as the starting quarterback. Now I know that's not ideal and in a perfect world we'd get a more tangible return for Darnold, but if the market for Darnold is low and the worst thing that he can get us is preparing whoever the new quarterback will be to be NFL ready on week one, then I don't think that that's a bad return for Jets fans. Now, I still do believe in the potential of Sam Darnold as an NFL quarterback. I just don't think that he'll get to reach his full potential in New York. I think he needs to go somewhere a little bit more established, like a Pittsburgh or a San Francisco, where they have a more established system with a proven history of winning, or at least some kind of success. Now, Sam here has a lot of fans that attach him to the negativity of the Adam Gase era and all of the horrors that came with it. I think it's in his best interest to move on. And as we've seen in the NFL in recent years, you only get that second contract as a quarterback if you've really been exceptional. We have Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes and now Dak Prescott, who even he's a little bit debatable, but his play has been better than Darnold and he's seen more success. Sam Darnold needs to move on. So do the Jets. It's time to put somebody in place here that can be the start of a new era and we can move on together. There will be more quarterback takes to come in the weeks leading up to the draft. Justin Fields versus Zach Wilson. I will be sure to address it. Please let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to tackle. Thank you for joining me for episode two.